Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can collect and track form data easily with Acrobat 11 by distributing a form. Forms can be distributed by either using a subscription to the Adobe Forms Central service, by using your email, or by using an internal network server. When you distribute a form, Acrobat creates a PDF portfolio that will collect form data. By default, the portfolio file is saved into the same folder as the original form with underscore responses added as a term to the original form file name. To distribute a form, open the form to distribute and then click the distribute button that appears in the forms panel within the tools pane of the task pane. That will then launch the distribute form dialog box. This dialog box displays the three options for distributing a form. Adobe Forms Central, Email, or Internal Server. If you select the Internal Server option, then select the name of a saved internal server location to use from the adjacent drop-down if available. If not available, you will be able to save a location during the wizard that will then launch once you click the Continue button. After choosing an option within this dialog box, click the Launch button if you selected the Adobe Forms Central option, or click the Continue button if you selected one of the other two options in order to continue. Now if you selected the Adobe Forms Central option, then the Adobe Form Central desktop application will launch and will prompt you to sign in with your Adobe account if you are not automatically signed in. Now using Adobe Form Central to distribute and track forms will be discussed in the lessons within the chapter titled Adobe Form Central. Now if you selected the email option then you will next step through a series of screens that appear in the Distribute Form Wizard that will allow you to create an email to which you can attach the form. Answer the questions posed and compose the email. When you click the Send button, the Send Email dialog box will appear so you can select the email account to use to send the email. When finished sending the email, Acrobat will launch the tracker window so that you can track the form. Now if you selected the internal server option, but you did not select a server from the adjacent dropdown, or if you selected the new server option from the dropdown, then the distribute form wizard will prompt you to enter a shared network location to which it can save the form, choose a send method to inform users to fill out the form, save the network location that you selected, and send a notification to selected form users. Simply answer the questions posed in each screen and click the Next button at the bottom of each screen to proceed. If needed, you can click the Previous button to return to a previous screen and change your answers. Note that if you selected a saved network location from the drop-down in the first screen, you will only need to send the notification to users within the wizard. When you have finished, click the Send button in the final screen to save the PDF to a shared network location and send notifications to the selected users. When finished sending the email notification, Acrobat will launch the Tracker window so that you can track the form. Just as when sharing a file for review, Acrobat will save the setting choices that you make within the wizard into a server configuration file that you can select from the drop-down that appears on the first screen of the wizard in the future to share another form using the same server settings. That way you will only need to step through the wizard again to share a form using a different server configuration. 
Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.